welcome does sun rotate by itself what are these sun spots what are sun flares and when sun is going to explode and how do we study this let's know all the answer for this in this video welcome to our channel info time as like us earth rotates on its own axis sun also rotate by itself even though sun is not solid as earth it is still has the rotation as plasma swirls around its surface on average it takes 27 earth days for the sun to rotate once on its axis but different paths move at different speeds the equatorial region take just 24 days to rotate and the polar regions takes more than 30 days now let's see about the sun spots sun spots are the cooler parts of the sun surface and occur in the photosphere these cooler spots can be up to 50000 km across the sun these temporary spots across the surface appear darker to us than the warmer plasma surrounding it they are thought to be called caused by the interactions of with particularly strong regions of underlying magnetic field which slightly reduce the radiation coming up from the core cooling the surface now let's say about the solar flares they are the largest explosive events in the entire solar system they occur when the magnetic field associated with the sun spots convert energy into heat accelerating particles ejecting into space they are characterized by the burst of photon or light at almost every uh, wavelength Scientists usually measure the ultraviolet rays x-rays gamma rays coming from the solar phase they typically show up as the bright flashes on the surface of the sun and can last from just a couple of minutes to few hours now let's see will sun explode actually it won't when all the hydrogen in it core is burnt up it exists the main sequence stage as relatively it's a smaller star the outer layer of the sun will collapse in themselves and creating the temperature hot enough to fuse helium into carbon at this point the pressure will cause the star to rapidly expand outward to form a red giant for the sun this is expected to occur in about 5 year 5 billion years it is likely to engulf mercury venus and potentially even earth it will eventually shrink to become planetary nebula with a white draft on its core now let's see how the sun is being studied due to its extreme temperature studying the sun with a spacecraft is incredibly difficult we have to rely on observation using telescope and cameras and on earth satellites however in 2020 european space agency and nasa launched the solar orbiter which will enter an elliptical orbit of a sun allowing unpredictable observations after taking 3 and 1/2 years to reach the sun it will begin 7 years of a mission to study star solar wind magnetic field and plasma please like and share the video and subscribe to our channel info time thanks for your time please like and subscribe and have a good day